know, I don't know. I think it looks pretty good. Although it might take a few videos before I get the lighting just the way I want it. Just bought an Elgato key light at a local Best Buy. Did you, did, did you know that Best Buy sold those things? I didn't. Oh, I've never thought they'd go to Best Buy for any of these things, but they sell it. Anyway, topic. So I've talked a lot about Creator on this channel. I've talked about how to make logos, how to make Twitch overlays. I've talked how you can make flash animations in Krita, which I have now know that uh, not a ton of people actually know you could actually do. But I've never really talked about the more normy side of things. Let me move my mic a little bit. I've never talked about the more normy side of things. You know, the office people, the corporate CEOs, the people who just don't want to use flash, don't know how to use flash, or aren't Twitch streamers or YouTubers. And it's kind of an, it was, it was actually a, a topic suggested to me in a while back in the comments, but I never capitalized on it. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So today in this video, let's talk about uh, how to make a business card in Krita, what kind of paper you want to use for it. And in general, uh, make something normal for once that about the 99% of the populace is probably gonna be used anyway. Let's get into it. My name is Chris, your resident Aspie YouTuber, helping you make better content on alternative platforms such as Linux and otherwise. And before we get into this video, I'd like to actually to start something a little bit new. Uh, so you probably heard that you know that new platform for like from Stream Elements is Mercury, uh, is doing a whole bunch of new stuff for YouTubers. Well, I'd like to give a shout out to the latest subscribers to the channel. Uh, if you actually haven't noticed, if you don't even know, we've recently surpassed 200 subscribers on the channel, which is astounding. Things are really starting to pick up. So I'd like to give a shout out to them. So you're seeing them down below. It probably should be already scrolling already. Uh, latest subscribers and everything. I plan to do a more with this in the future to kind of expand on this whole thing. Maybe once I start maybe streaming on YouTube, kind of a plan right now. Uh, I'll continue doing that. But before we get into the video, let's get some kind of prerequisites out of the way. In order to make a business card, you're obviously need to make paper. And if you're watching this video, you probably don't want to be using services like Vistaprint to make them or some other service on Etsy. So we're, because you're probably going to make them from scratch. And that's what we're going to be doing today, fo focusing on today. So a company called Avery uh, makes fantastic uh, office products. And they make a uh, specific paper like this for business cards. And we'll be using this as our template uh, for it. Uh, they, they provide both the template, like the paper itself, as well as the template you can import into Photoshop or anything you can add. Now, some people aren't aware of this, and you might be thinking, Photoshop, but this is a tutorial on Krita. Never fear, Krita is capable of importing PSD files. So the template that we can be using to uh, make the, the business cards in Krita can be imported to Krita natively, no problem. As for the template number we're gonna be using, it is 28371. It is a standard matte white business card template. It is two inches, by th or two feet by three and a half feet. So it's gonna be, it's gonna yield you about at least one package, about a hundred cards, 10, 10 uh, per, uh, per 10 sheets. Um, fantastic, I like this stuff. This is not sponsored by the way, I probably should mention this video is not sponsored by uh, Avery, probably should get more focus. Probably is not sponsored by Avery whatsoever. Um, I just like this because you can find it at basically any office product store, Walmart, Target, Office Depot, Office Max, anywhere, anywhere they people where they sell office products, uh, you can find these templates. Um, but the last prerequisite I probably should mention is where do you get it? Well, you go to their website and you look through their templates. Uh, the process should be showing on screen right now. You want again, you want to be looking for template two eight three seven one. Once you have found the template, you want to download the PSD file and import it like you would normally would for anything into Krita. And once it's there, you'll see the template. Now the template's gonna look a little a little jarring at first. It's gonna have that very distinctive transparency background and that is fine. Uh, that is nothing more than just a blank way. You're, you're gonna see the quadrants, the lines that separate them. Now, I probably should mention what a business card is purposely supposed to do. Um, the purpose of a business card is to advertise your business, of course, that's why you would have them. And there is a right way and a wrong way to go about it. Uh, a wrong way to go about it is basically anything that I would not describe in this video. But the three main components of a business card is your company name, what the company does, and any social media 
any any kind of way to contact the company, either by a phone number, email, address, anything. Any way to contact you is what you want to be including on this on this particular business card. Now, since we're we're gonna be looking at now, I know at the beginning of the video I said that we want to focus on the more normy side of things, and that is true. But since this is a channel that is primarily focused on helping streamers and content creators, that is what we're gonna be gearing our business card to. Now, despite this, you can this 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 mentality way of do, where we're doing it can apply to basically any kind of business card as long as you include those three main main aspects on your card. Um, in which case, the contact information we'll be including onto the card is nothing more than our social media uh, links. But the mo yeah, the, the most the basic purpose of these cards is to advertise your business. So we're going to when we start designing our card, we're going to start by basically including any of our branding, anything that identifies you and your business. You want to include on there. Now, how you go about doing this branding is totally up to you. I'm doing this in a very business, very basic very basic sense just to kind of get an idea of how you can go about doing yours so i'm going to include my logo i'm going to include uh below it well first i'm going to start out with uh the blue background the kind of the distinctive blue background that my branding well at least previously at the time of this this, this was made um included i can include beneath that just just a little, little offset but just beneath that is what i do now i'm a youtuber and streamer so i'm gonna put that there youtuber and streamer Below that, I include my YouTube channel name and my Twitch name, um, as well as below that, a few logos for posterity. It really, it really doesn't hurt to include those kinds of things. And then I include Kai, and then off to the left, and I'm kind of basically done at that point. Now I know. Now I did experiment a little bit with adding some uh, some shape and shapes and color to where Kai is. Didn't really come out the way I liked it to, so I kind of omitted that. But again, you can do this however you want. And that's basically the design aspect. Like it's not that it's not that hard to design. It's not really that hard to design a business card in Krita. Like I actually have the template back down over here behind me, and it's not that hard. Like this is something I could show to people at, at, at events and gatherings and stuff like that, and that 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 would tell them what they would need. Now you might be thinking, there's usually a backside to these things, and as has happens, the template paper. Well, I kind of, I think I did this wrong. Yeah, I did this wrong when I printed it out. This, 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 this side that the front is actually on is actually the back side. The template will tell you uh, right, right there. If you can get in focus. There it is. Right there. That will tell you which side is which. Come on, zebras. Come on. There we go. Yeah, that will tell you which side is which, and it's more important really for printing than it is for the design because you can put the it's you can put the design on either side that you want. But either way, depending on what you want to do with it, that's up to you. Uh, but once you have it uh, completed and all ready to go, how you how you want it, it's time to print. Now, depending on who you ask and what you uh, what you use, um, I don't remember who asked, but what you use. Uh, printing it can be different. It can be a myriad of different experiences. Now, Krita cannot print directly from the program. You have to save the. You have to save um, the file first because if you're editing in a CRAW file like we are right here, well, printers don't understand that kind of codec. So you need to save it as a PNG first, then you can print it. So save as like I said, save it as a PNG wherever you want to. Once it's saved, open it in any image viewer. And uh, I, I recorded this on Windows. And because I don't like Microsoft, like the default uh, image viewer that comes with Windows, I use it for a program, program called, <laughs> excuse me, a program called Image Glass. Keep hiccuping. This is this is something that occurs. This is something that occurs in every damn video that I do. I just hic I, there's at some point in the video I just start hiccup and burp. Anyway, I use Image Glass mainly because I'm able to zoom in on GIFs which is apparently something that I like to use. I don't know, do whatever you want. I can print from there and it uses, Image Glass uses the pretty basic kind of printing dialog that you use, but anyone will do. Now, in terms of the printer you want to use, generally speaking, any printer will work. Like if you don't even have a printer at home, you can go to your local um, office supply store. They'll have a printer you can use over there. You can print these out and be perfectly fine. Any kind, kind of printer will work. I'm using an HP Envy uh, 758 or 7855. It's a print, 
printer designed it for photos. So it's able to, it's able to print out high quality photos or prints such as this. And generally speaking, the higher quality of the print, the better. Because you want, like, like I said, you want these to be presentable and if they're looking like low quality, then you might have a harder time. You'll, well, you'll, you'll have a harder time kind of getting convincing people to join your cause, but it's not impossible, thankfully. Maybe because of the printer I'm using, the quality of the print is a lot, uh, is, is typically high quality, but when the printing dialog back on track, the printing dialog, you want to make sure you focus on, um, uh, make, focus on making sure the print is highest quality possible. Now there's going to be a drop down in this dialog that I'm using right now that says qual print quality. It's going to default to the best quality. Make sure it is, def is that press quality. If it's anything less, change it. Uh, in terms of the print uh, paper size, uh, the printer, the paper we are using is pretty standard. Uh, it's it's basically letter, uh, letter size. So when you print it off, it's going to be just where you need it to be. And after that, make sure it's printing out as many copies as you need it to be doing and print. And once it's out, got some business cards. Uh, I'm gonna hopefully see if I can get myself some glamour shots of these things because I've been wanting to experiment with that for a while. But there you have it. You have business cards. Um, it's not not that hard. Like a lot of like you could you could go to a company called like you could go to the Vista Print. You could go to Etsy and have them have them print off business cards for you. But I personally find this to be more fun. Like genuinely, I personally find making my own business cards not only more economic, financially viable because printing, going to visit print or uh, go to a store on Etsy can be expensive. This was just only about twenty, thirty dollars in total. I forget, I forget how much I bought this for. You can probably find online again in the, the hardware store. But it was it was cheaper than than the alternative. Now, to be honest, you're going to get a better looking card, like in terms of the print, if you go to a professional. Like, because any just just any standard printer you can have at your home is not going to look as good as a professionally printed card would. Because if you notice, uh, it's 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 very matte in terms of the print, and that's how it's supposed to look. But because because of the paper we used and the printer that where I was using to print that with, uh, but and you also has to have that that gloss to it that you might have with a professionally printed card. But with this, you can print out as many as you need, and not have to go over. Like like for a Vista print, you, you, they make you print over something on like 100 cards for for a flat rate. This is 10 cards, and if you only need 10 cards or 100 cards in total. You know, that's how you want to go about it. Then fine. But I personally find this to be more enjoyable, being doing it myself, because I, because I love graphic design and it's just kind of a passion of mine. I'd rather do it this way. And with that, another practically used for Krita beyond digital art is just right in the bag. I mean, I love Krita. I mean, to be honest, like, I mean, it's the main reason why I have success to begin with. But Krita is such a fantastic program, and I want to do more uh, in the future. Maybe even some more bigger projects based on Krita. Hint, 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 wink, wink. Uh, but if you'd like to see more from Krita, then sign off the comments below. What is your favorite use for it? If there's anything you'd like to see me making Krita specifically, because this business card was one thing that someone suggested, feel free to comment that down below. And if you liked the video, consider giving it a like. And if you hated it, well, <laughs> whatever you do, it helps me. So thank you. And subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more in the future. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me for this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.